guys, Jan here in the Northview Model Shop. All right, after the last video there on the tank, a couple guys were wondering, how did you bend all your photo etch? And um, we're going to show you. You see on the tank here, you can build the fenders, and uh, which is beautiful. You can either do the, the styrene or you can do this piece. But this all starts out as one big flat piece, and then you add some pieces to it. But all this needs to have 90 degree bends to it and whatnot. This can be done with a ruler and uh, with a knife or, you know, very crudely, you can do it with your fingers. Or you can do what we did and we made our own photo etch bender right here. Now this is good to have it. We've mounted it up to our little shop vise here, a little desk vise. Um, makes life a lot easier because it gives you two hands. But um, let's step back a minute. This was made by a friend of mine who was a very, very, very talented metal worker. And... Um, he made one of these for his own little uh, his own little shop for working in his yard, and um, this is just made out of simple uh, um, quarter inch plate. Um, you pretty well making a T, and then you make a little bar on the top with a couple of threaded holes with some thumb screws to tighten your workpiece down. Um, take a piece of quarter inch plate here, cutter, and then putting a angled onto it, and then just a very slight little bull nose onto it. And uh, my buddy explained to me why the bull nose is there. Uh, for like me, I cannot remember. I think it has to do with getting those perfect 90s. But uh, beautiful piece. Uh, we're just going to use some tin here, uh, some 5,000 tin, to show how easy this is to work. You break your screws off, put your piece in. Now we're doing it very crudely because we have no marks onto it. But oh, that's not straight. Like so. And then with your fingers. Voila. Perfect. And let's flip this over and continue to work. Now this does have its downsides. Uh, this is a very simple model. Um, more elaborate pieces, uh, as my buddy explained, would have cuts out of here, right? A big piece missing. So you could have a piece that was already bended and then roll it up and roll it through the cutout section and make a, you know, a compound bend here. But uh, let's see if we can do this without ruining it. Ah, there we go. Get a little press. And voila. Very simplistic uh, piece of equipment here. Um, once again, just pretty well making a TV. Now, this big piece here is so you can hold it like this and roll with your fingers if you didn't have your, your handy shove. Desk vice, but uh, beautiful working piece of machinery. Um, you can spend the good money and buy a good one. Yeah, no hell, why not, right? A uh, lot lighter, lot lighter uh, handling, uh, probably works even better. But, you know, if you got a body or you got materials laying around your, your bench or your shop or your workplace that you can kind of snag, geez, a couple bucks, an hour of your time, you can make one of these babies pretty quick. But uh, anyway, guys, that's how we handle all the photo etch bending here in the Northview Model Shop is a little homemade break. All right, guys, have a good one. Adios.